let us look at how to formulate the problem of media selection as a linear programming problem. As you are aware, there are multiple avenues of advertising like newspaper, radio, television, etc. using which you can advertise your products. Now each of these avenues has a cost associated with it as well as the number of viewers who are exposed to these avenues. Also different classes of population are exposed to these different advertising media. So for example people in rural villages may not be exposed to television, they may be exposed to only radio. So let us look at the problem at hand. An advertising company is planning a media campaign for a client who is willing to spend rupees 20 lakh to promote a new fuel economy model of a car. The client wishes to limit his campaign media to a daily newspaper, radio and prime time television. The agency's own research data on cost effectiveness of advertising media suggests the following information. So basically we have been given that a client wants to spend 20 lakh to promote a new fuel economy car and the client wants to spend money in advertising in a daily newspaper, radio and TV. Now we have been given that for newspaper the cost per unit that is if you advertise once the cost is 20,000 rupees and the estimated number of viewers who will be exposed to each advertising unit is 1 lakh. Similarly for radio the cost per unit is 40,000 rupees and the number of viewers will be 5 lakh. For television the cost per unit is 1 lakh rupees while the number of viewers exposed to each unit will be 10 lakhs. Also we have been given that the client wishes that at least 50 lakh viewers should be exposed to TV advertising. Also the expense on newspaper advertising must not exceed rupees 5 lakhs. We are being asked to formulate the problem as a linear programming problem. So in this example let's focus on how to formulate the problem as a linear programming problem. Let us first note down the data that has been provided to us. Advertising media cost per unit in rupees and exposure per unit. So we have newspaper, radio and television. So cost per unit for newspaper is 20,000, for radio is 40,000 and for television is 1 lakh. Exposure per unit for newspaper is 1 lakh, for radio 5 lakhs and for television 10 lakhs. So our main objective here is to maximize the total number of viewers to be exposed to these advertisements. So in order to formulate the problem as a linear programming problem, 
the first step is to find the decision variables. Now, in order to find the mix of the media so that the exposure to the advertisements is maximum, we have to find out the number of units to be purchased for newspaper, radio and television. So those are the decision variables in this case. So let's say X is the number of newspaper advertising units to be bought. Let Y be the number of radio advertising units to be bought and Z or Z be the number of television advertising units to be bought. Now after we have decided on the decision variables, the second step is to define the objective function. Now the objective function is to maximize the total number of viewers to be exposed to these advertisements. So suppose the number of viewers exposed are n. So we have to maximize n. Now n is equal to the number of viewers exposed to newspaper plus the number of viewers exposed to radio plus the number of viewers exposed to television. Now let's first take the number of users exposed to the newspaper. So we have been given that for each unit the number of users or viewers exposed to the newspaper advertising is 1 lakh. So if the client buys X number of newspaper advertising units, then the number of viewers exposed to this advertising will be 1 lakh multiplied by X. Plus, for radio, we have been given that one unit of advertisement is exposed to 5 lakh viewers. So Y units of advertisement will be exposed to 5 lakh multiplied by Y viewers. So 5 lakh multiplied by Y. And similarly for television, one unit is exposed to 10 lakh viewers. So Z units will be exposed to 10 lakh multiplied by Z. So this is our objective function. Now the next step is to find the constraints. So the first constraint that we have been given in this problem is that the client is willing to spend a total sum of 20 lakhs to promote this new car. So we can't spend more than 20 lakhs. So that is a constraint for us. Now we have been given that each unit of newspaper advertisement costs 20,000 rupees. Each unit of radio advertisement costs 40,000 rupees and each unit of television advertisement costs 1 lakh rupees. So let's first take the newspaper. 
So one unit costs 20,000 rupees. So X units will cost 20,000 multiplied by X. Plus one unit of radio advertisement costs 40,000 rupees. So Y units will cost 40,000 multiplied by Y. Similarly, for television, one unit of advertisement costs 1 lakh rupees. So Z units will cost 1 lakh multiplied by Z. So the total cost has to be less than or equal to 20 lakhs. So this whole equation should be less than or equal to 20 lakhs. So this is our first constraint. Next, we have been given that at least 50 lakh viewers should be exposed to television advertisement. So this is a constraint because we have to ensure that we spend enough money or the client purchases enough units of advertisement for television so that at least 50 lakh viewers are exposed to the advertisements. Now we have been given that one unit of television advertisement provides exposure to 10 lakh viewers. So if Z is the number of television advertisements that we are purchasing, then the total number of viewers exposed will be 10 lakhs multiplied by Z. So 10 lakhs multiplied by Z. And this has to be greater than or equal to 50 lakhs. So this is our second constraint. Now we have also been given that the expenses on newspaper advertisement must not exceed rupees 5 lakhs. So that will be our third constraint. So we have been given that one unit of newspaper advertisement costs 20,000 rupees and we should not exceed more than 5 lakh rupees. So if one unit costs 20,000 rupees and we are considering X as the number of newspaper advertisements to be bought, the total cost will be 20,000 multiplied by X. So 20,000 multiplied by X this should not be greater than 5 lakhs. That means this has to be less than or equal to 5 lakhs. So this is the formulation of a linear programming problem in mathematical equations for a media selection example. And of course, one constraint that has to be there for each and every linear programming problem is that x y and z have to be greater than or equal to 0.